Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Face the Nation. Margaret is taking some time off. Labor Day typically marks the kickoff of the home stretch of an election year. As Americans look ahead to the midterms this November, there is broad and deep anxiety in the country about the health of our democracy. A new CBS News poll this morning shows 72 percent of Americans think U.S. democracy is under threat. Why? The top answers include the influence of money in politics, potential for political violence, and attempts to overturn elections. Our next hour will focus on these fault lines, fears, and some potential solutions. We begin with CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman with a look at how we got here. When I'm governor, we're going to take a sledgehammer to these damn electronic voting machines. Take Arizona's Carrie Lake or Pennsylvania's Doug Mastriano. You know, we the people are pissed. Republican nominees for governor and election deniers evangelists of the big lie. Some of the, CBS News uh, election uh, expert David Becker. The, what's really important for voters to understand is our process is actually as secure and transparent and professional as it's ever been. And yet since the 2020 election, at least 39 states changed or updated voting laws, often spurred by invented claims of widespread election fraud. Texas imposed new ID requirements for mail-in ballots. Georgia restricted drop boxes and absentee ballots. Florida established an elections crime unit. Yet come election day, November 8th. For most voters, they're going to find that the experience is very similar um, to, 20, uh, to 2020. The bigger worry, what comes next? More January 6th outrage? Claims of election rigging, crowds baying for blood. Nancy! Oh, Nancy! Potentially encouraged by candidates who may refuse to lose. Our research shows in these six battleground states, in this November's elections for offices that help certify elections, 53 of 88 Republican candidates are election deniers. That's 60 percent. In Arizona's four major Republican primaries, steel champions won all of them, worrying other Republicans there. This cannot be accepted because uh, our democracy cannot withstand it. So we have to continue to push back. Like many election deniers, Doug Mastriano says as governor, he would have refused to certify Joe Biden won Pennsylvania. He was in the crowd on January 6th. With or without new election laws, every state's chief election officer has to certify results. Usually that's the secretary of state. And this November, a number of conservative candidates running for that office are also election deniers. Major? Mark Strassman in Atlanta. Thank you.